I had a dime For every bad time But the bad times always seem to keep the change And you've been all alone So you know what I'm saying It's called Release Me, which has been on uh, it was been on, the, on Amazon and iTunes for a while. Now y'all buy it this morning. Release Me because it's a great record. Got to everybody. You know you better. She told the district attorney say you don't release. You better keep your job. Release we'll like brown eyed handsome man. That's what I'm saying. So. I sound in. I sound like Diane Sawyer, don't I? <laughs> sound drunk. I've been music? sober for 25 years. Where's my music? Let's <laughs> play the music. Where's the Jake? That was great. <laughs> Put an exclamation point after more, what I just more, said. More <laughs> Lyle Lovett all morning. 32 after the hour. I'm just playing program. Lyle Lovett. Isn't that so? 
seed in the dirt, my friend, if you want the thing to grow. Isn't that so? Isn't that so? You have to go where your heart says go. Isn't that so? Isn't that so? Isn't that so? Oh, man, that sounds like a dick. Well, the guys in the band irritated with me for slobbering over Russ and not mentioning them. Or... I'm sorry, I do, couldn't hear you. Are the guys in the band irritated with me for us slob slobbering over Russ and not... All the, all the guys, the other guys in the band look like they're about 14, but... Uh... Yeah, it's true. Luke Bull is playing fiddle. Okay. Keith Sewell is playing uh, guitar. All right. And Victor Krauss is playing bass. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, the great, and the great Russ Kunkel on, uh, on drums, which is a big treat for us because we're the ultimate groupies and so on. That Lyle loves his new album. It's called Release Me, in which uh, Lyle is tied up on the... Uh, cover of the uh, album, which is I speculated, and I don't know a lot of that well, but I'm certain that's not the first time that's happened. Just we just happen to have a picture of it this time. <laughs> and his new Christmas EP is called "Songs for the Season." They'll be back to sing more when Bernie Met Sally's next. Twenty-five till they are, which is a great album. And I've worn out. We worn out on this show. His version of Chuck Berry's "Brown-eyed Handsome Man." So you don't keep your job, baby. Get up, get up, so whatever he says. <laughs> you gonna sing that today? Well, I'd be honored. To. Well, oh really? <laughs> okay, y'all, please welcome once again with Russ Conkel on drums. This is really embarrassing, and it's, it's just it's, oh, I, I apologize for that. But, <laughs> I know that ain't right. Lord forgive me. But anyway, here's uh, Lyle Levin. Wasn't no 
nobody on here to high fly into the stands. Finally, 30 was a headed for home. It was a, a brown eyed, handsome man, just like Derek Jeter. It was a brown eyed, handsome man. It was a, a brown eyed, handsome man. It was a, a brown eyed, he was arrested on charges of unemployment. He was standing at the witness stand. The judge's wife, she told the district attorney, you better free that brown eyed hand. You want your job, you better free that brown eyed From the album, uh, Release Me, yeah. well, I love it, Chuck Berry, Brown and Handsome Man. You can buy Release Me on uh, Amazon, iTunes, wherever, and also Lyle Lover's Christmas EP, Songs for the Season, is out now. That's available as well. Speaking of Chuck Berry, we're here on the uh, I'm Mr. Morning Program. Lyle Lovett's here, and, uh, and Russ Gunkel on drums. Oh, yeah? And, and Lyle introduced the other guys to Matt. Yeah, we didn't Are, know. Uh, we sh <laughs> shut up, Lou. You guys appear anywhere, Lyle? Or? Yeah, we'll be in Port Chester, New York this evening, and in Princeton tomorrow evening. Oh, we are? Okay. Yes, sir. And are you, is it all around the country going now? Or? We're, you know, uh, just, we're playing three weeks in November right up to Thanksgiving. We'll end up in Fort Worth, Texas on the 20th of November. Oh, okay. Lyle has a bunch of what kind of horses? Raining horses, right? Raining horses, yes. yes. And I was talking to Joe Beavers, Wyatt's a rodeo coach, you know, and I was talking to some Mike Arnold and some of the guys there, and, you know, there's nothing they'd rather do than – Badmouth some celebrity with horses, or the, but man, they sing in your they sing in your praises. The guy told me, he said, man, he says those horses are real, and so is he. So, well, that's nice of you to say. I have such admiration for those guys. I mean, they can get so much done with a horse. It's oh, Joe Beavers, though. just world class, eight-time world champion. Did you only won two gold medals in the Olympics? I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, he, wow. he never told me that. So we, how did we discover that? So, somehow we just stumbled on that. I didn't know they had roping in the Olympics. Well, well they did in Calgary. Oh, wow. In the Winter Olympics. Wow. And, of course, Joe won everything. So. Well, of course. All right. Please welcome once again, you guys. I love it. I'm going out on the highway to listen to the big truck wine. I'm going out on the highway to listen to the big truck wine. Oh.
Man, I don't know if I'd let the guitar player and the fiddle players sing anymore. They might get an idea and have their own band uh, if they you. don't already. <laughs> yeah, that's well, you know, they actually do. Oh, uh, God, Keith, they were great. Keith Sewell uh, and Luke Buller. Terrific, man. Come on. 44 minutes past the hour, 16 until the next one. More Law Love It coming up. Come Law Love It. Thanks for having us on. You're welcome. If you guys ever come through with your band, you're welcome. You know? so. well, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. No. And v Victor Krauss is playing bass. If you, Why if do you, you play? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> How come you don't just have a regular big old fat too much to carry around, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Even I figured that out. That <laughs> well, was a great morning, Russ. It's really, a, really an honor to meet you and didn't even mean to act like 16 year old girls but well why not <laughs> not at all it was an honor to be here we're entitled so so thank you both all of you very much it was, it was really terrific it really was terrific so. um, and then i'm gonna tell joe beaver and I, well it's not joe jenna because every time we said well that's the last where lyle lives and i said no it's not where lyle lives so. <laughs> He does not live there, so. I guess it's, it's a good thing to have plenty of places to go. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thank you guys very much. Thank you.